Hi right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Charles Lawson and I'm here again with Michelle Wu. Now today we're going to be talking about probably the most asked question that we get as gemologists in the gem trade, and that is... How much does the gemstone cost? Today we are specifically looking at the emeralds. Now there's so many factors that come into play when you're valuing a gemstone, but today we're going to be looking at the four C's, same as with diamonds, that's colour, clarity, cut and carat weight. We'll also touch a little bit on treatment and origin, but there's just so many factors when it comes to valuing a gemstone. It can be who you're buying it from, who you are buying it, where you're buying it, the time of day, the time of year even come into play. So we're going to try and keep things simple, and we're going to be using the AIGS system today that also works with the gem guide. This will just give you a basic idea of the wholesale price. Today, Jeffrey Bergman has been kind enough to invite us to visit his company, 8th Dimension Gems. He had got a series of emeralds. Let's go and take a look. Let's go. Okay, so we've arrived here at 8th Dimension Gems and we've got our selection of three pieces. Let's have a look and get grading. So, let's start off with number one. Now, what's the first thing we're going to look at with the grading of the stone? And we will check the color. And for color, there are three factors, hue, saturation, tone. So we'll start from the color hue first. The number one piece of the color, the hue is um, green, pure green. So it's not easy to get like pure green color. Mm. Yeah, normally they have some other tints inside. And uh, for the saturation, it's nice, it's strong. It's a very bit strong. Mm. And uh, for the tone, it's a medium. So the general the color is very good. So I get a eight, I give an eight out of ten. Okay, so that's pretty. So not, not much you can complain about with like a pure green color, medium True. tone. That's, yes. that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, for stone number two, how are we looking at? Uh, the color on this yeah, one. stone number two, the color is slightly different because uh, it has bluish tint inside, mm. and uh, the saturation is not that uh, strong, mm. so we can see it's like uh, around fair. Yeah, you can definitely see a difference in, in the tone, like, like the darkness of the green and the white. True, true, yeah. So the saturation is fair, and the tone is also like a bit lower, it's a medium light. So generally, the whole um, color grade will be uh, four out of ten. Uh, so what about number three? Number three, uh, the color is uh, also uh, it has bluish tints inside, and uh, but the color is strong. The saturation is strong. Mm. You can feel that it's yeah. similar like it, with number one, but uh, it has another different hue, right? Mm. So it's different, and also for the tone, it, uh, it will be medium dark. You can compare with number one. Mm. Okay, and the final grade for that for so, this color? Uh, final grade for this color will be. Um, Actually, it's a six out of ten. Okay, so it's basically we've got kind of like four, six, eight yes. between these ones. Okay. Two, two, yeah. All right, so that's the color. So now, what's the next thing that we move on to with the grading? Yeah, so the next important factor will be clarity. So let's comparing the clarity about the three stones. The number one, um, actually, we have to be um, careful about the emeralds because normally for emeralds, uh, it will have inclusions inside mm. for sure. So we cannot use the same standard as ruby and sapphire. Yeah, yeah we sure. have to know the standard for emeralds. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you'll be using the same system, but just kind of adjusting for emeralds. True, true, yes. Yeah. And for the number one, um, we can see uh, it, it has inclusion. It's like we can see with our left eye, we can. See the inclusion mm. but uh, it's not that obvious so for this one we can give uh, moderately eye clean for this one will be uh, six 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 yes. out of ten yes Okay, and, uh, so um, what about number two? How's the clarity on that one? For the clarity uh, of number two, this one like uh, uh, the good crystalline stand out. You can feel that, right? Mm. It has good crystal. So this one uh, actually is also like a cleaner than number one. Mm. You can feel Better like clarity. it's clear, yeah, right? Yeah, crystal for the... Yes, two. And this one, the clarity will be uh, around uh, seven. Okay, and how are we doing on number three? For number three, you can feel uh, the clarity. Actually, the crystal is the lowest among three stones. You can feel that. Number two is a very clear crystal, mm, right? Mm. And uh, number one is better than number two. Three, like, is the worst one. Mm. You don't see anything inside. You feel like the whole is cloudy. Yeah, it's a little bit sleepy, like there's yeah, not much sparkle and, coming yeah, out of it. Two, yes. Yeah, so number three, the clarity, I would just give the visib uh, vi uh, visibly included is, is four out of 10. Okay, so we've done color and we've done the clarity, so what's next? 
Now the uh, last part is about the cutting. So for the cutting, uh, there are many factors. Um, mostly we have to consider about the proportion grade and the symmetry grade and also about the finish grade. Mm. And then we combine these uh, three grades, we can get a general final cutting grade. Okay, so tell us about the cutting on number one. Um, for the cutting of number one, uh, let's um, check the brilliance first. For the number one, the brilliance takes around 40%. Mm. So that's the, that's the sparkle stone. coming out of the stone, two, two, yes. And uh, we can check the proportion of the stone. Uh, the proportion is um, around fair. Yeah. yeah, I did notice that one, like the, the culet on the pavilion is a little bit off to the side on that one. Yes, that one is about the symmetry actually. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, symmetry. yeah so let's go to the symmetry part. For the number one piece, the symmetry is um, poor. Mm, okay, so yes, that, that brings it down quite a bit. Two, yes, yeah. Because uh, the, yeah, it's off-center, the community is mm, off-center. Mm. And also for the, the whole profile, you can feel like one side is um, narrow, one side is wider. So it's not in good mm. yeah, proportion, yeah. So definitely cutting a little bit more for weight on that one. Two, yes. And for the finish grade, the whole last is uh, in between, I feel, right? In between, between the three stones. Mm. So the finish will be fair. Fair, all right. So what's the final grade for cutting on stone number one? Yeah, for the cutting, for Spalama is uh, around three out of 10. Okay, so pretty low on that one. So I mean, that was fairly <laughs> self-explanatory there. I think like, all those little factors that are bringing you down. Yes. Okay, tell me about stone number two. For the number two, uh, the brilliance is quite good. Mm. Uh, it takes around 6% mm. uh, in the stone. And uh, the proportion is also very good. For the number two, the proportion we can give to good. Yeah, good. we can give to good, yes. The symmetry of number two is also very good. You can see, right? Mm. So we give it good as well. And uh, for the finish, it's also good. The last is quite good also. Yeah, nice and bright on that piece. So the final score on that one? It's a seven it's out of 10. Okay, so I mean like what, what could that have done to get a bit better, do you think? Like, what was the sort of main thing bringing that one down? Yeah, if you pay attention to the cutting, like in the center, you feel a slightly window. Okay, so that way, if it didn't have as much of a window, you'd probably get a much better score, like sort of eight or nine, if you didn't two, have that window. Two, yes. Want to ask about number three now? Yeah, for number three. For number three, you can feel the brilliance. You didn't see much brilliance at all, right? No, not, not much on that one. <laughs> yes. So this is the most important yeah, factor that affecting the cutting. So this one I give around maybe um, below 20%, mm. right, for the brilliance. Yeah. And for the proportion, actually, it's not bad for proportion. Yeah, no, right? it looks quite, quite nicely. Yes. So the proportion is uh, fair to good. Yeah. Is it a little bit shallow? Yeah, it's a bit shallow. Yeah. Yes. And for the symmetry, uh, it's also like uh, fair, we can give it fair. Not so bad, mm. right? not so good. So what's the final score on number three? So for, for, for the final score, it's a three. Okay, so we've done color, clarity and cut. Cutting, so, so now we go for the final scores. Yes, for the final scores, uh, for number one, I give a six out of 10. Number two will be five out of 10. And the, for the number three is four out of 10. Okay, so now we're going to look up the gem guide and see what the final prices we come up with are. And uh, this, like we have to know, like they, they are from different regions. Mm. So there's uh, some region factors, right? Yeah. Affecting the final price. So generally in the market, the most expensive is going to be Colombian with maybe, would you say Afghan emeralds generally have a pretty high premium yeah, on them? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, that means it's cheap. Yeah. Okay, so number one is 3.78 carats. Yes, and so we look in the Colombian one. So okay. we can say it's like a $3,000 out. Okay, so the, so the price range on that is 1150 to 3000 but as it's a nicer piece, we're bumping yeah. that up to 3000 Yes. So on that, we're looking at $11,340. Okay, so number two is 2.74, and how are we looking at the grade on that one? Uh, five. Grade of five. So the range is 420 to 1075 so you According think... According to the quality, we can give, yeah, one thousand. The higher end? Yes. So there we're looking at just under 3,000 at 2,945 and 50 cents. Well, if we go to maybe Colombia one. Colombian, yes, yes. that's going to be probably the higher price. Yeah. If number two, two cap and five, so one thousand four hundred fifty dollar cap. Okay, so if that was a Colombian stone, the price would be three thousand nine hundred seventy-three, mm -hmm. according to Gem Guide. Okay. Uh, so what's that a price difference of? Roughly about a thousand dollars on that. Yes. So that's that's almost that's getting close to a third increase in price, mm -hmm. just by being a Colombian origin. 
Okay, so for number two, this one actually has uh, no oil. I mean, if you just look up the gem guide, it doesn't actually go to no oil, and only goes to minor, but for this particular piece, it says to jump up by about 20%, but because it's actually no oil, not minor, mm -hmm. we're gonna actually bump that up to 30%. So if we go to 30%, that actually takes it from 2,945 all the way up to 3,828.50. So as you can see, quite a massive difference there going from uh, like moderate oil, which I believe the first table minor, was yeah. of minor oil, and then going up to no oil. So mm -hmm. big, big price difference with that. Okay, so the last stone, number stone number three, one point one six carats, and the score on that one was four. Okay, so the range is one hundred and thirty to three hundred and seventy. So we're going to go with the higher end again. We're going to go three seventy, and uh, looking at four hundred and twenty nine and twenty cents. Okay. Right. Okay. So for number one, we're also going to bump up the price because that one is just minor oil. So mm -hmm. what's the uh, the change in number one? Um, so we have to add around 10%. 10%, all right. Mm -hmm. So on that one, we're going from 11,340 times 10%, and that bumps it up to 12,474. So not quite as dramatic as the last one, but still definitely worth uh, adding in that extra little bit of yeah. value there. If it is over five cows, then we need to bump around 20%. Mm. Yeah. So the bigger it gets, the, the more value you'll add by having oil yes, and oil. Yes, yes. And the, the number we have to add another 10. So on that one, we're going from 429 up to 471.90. Okay. Okay, so we have our three prices now. Now to call in our good friend, Mr. Jeffrey Bergman, to see how well we did. Yes. Yeah, I'll get the greatest I'm interested in this so, myself. So, oh, so this piece we number get one. Okay, number one. Okay, number one is the 3.78 carat. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a, a dealer to dealer price of 1,800 per carat on it. Bit of a bargain compared to the uh, the wholesale yes. price that we've got there. So that was what actually comes out at six thousand eight hundred and four. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So we were at double on that one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So again, this is a very good reason why that these sort of guys, you know, take them with a grain of salt. You know, depending on where you are, who's selling it, there's, there's so many things they can go. Uh, wrong with you know many different pricing guides, so this is a very good example of that. So yes. let's see how we did with number two. What's the price of number two? Mm -hmm. Number two, it's a no oil, 2.71 mm -hmm. carat. I have priced at 1,200 US dollars per carat. So that comes out at 3,288. We get 3,850. Okay, again, so we, 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 we both estimated. <laughs> this one is quite close, yes. yes. But yeah. not, not too much, yeah. So yeah. I, I get, luckily we remembered to add in the uh, the no oil on this one yes. because otherwise we wouldn't be very low. Yeah. I guess that's pretty close. Okay, so number three, I feel like we might have done it right on this one. Yes. This is 1.16 carat mm -hmm. uh, minor clarity enhancement. I have priced at 300 US per carat. We were a bit overestimated on that one, yes. it yeah, Well, yeah. I'm happy to see that all my wholesale prices are well below. <laughs> yeah. that's, exactly. that's what you want. <laughs> that's why it's a dealer-to-dealer -dealer price, yeah, right? Yeah. So buying in Bangkok, you can get a good price from here, right? Yeah, but also, you know, it depends on who you're buying from, who you are, but mm -hmm. right. like, there's, yeah. there's so many factors that can come into it. Yeah. But that's, that's all yeah. three stones. We hope you enjoyed it and learned some more. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Okay. Cheers, see you.